guys, today I'm here to talk about movies that have something to do with books or authors or libraries, just books in general. I got this idea from reading books about books. I really enjoy reading books about books like A.J. Fickrey and The Bookseller, and I really enjoy watching movies, and this month me and my mom are watching a movie every night based around romance, and I noticed that there are a lot of movies that have to do with books. So I have a big stack of movies here that I'm going to mention, and I have another stack that I'm not going to get to because I just have too many movies that I want to mention. So I'm going to try and get through this pretty quick because I think I have over 10 movies to mention. The first one I want to mention is Stranger Than Fiction. This is with Will Ferrell. I am not a big Will Ferrell fan. Sometimes he gets on my nerves. But I thought this movie was fantastic. It is about a man who starts hearing a voice in his head and it is narrating his life. And he's trying to find out who it is that is the voice. And we find out that it's actually an author who is trying to write a book. This is just a fun, cute movie. It can be really sad at some parts, but it is just a fantastic movie and I highly recommend watching this if you haven't seen it yet. The next one I want to mention is Not Another Happy Ending. I saw this a few months ago and I absolutely loved it. I watched it over and over because I liked it so much and so I went out and bought my own copy. This is about an author trying to get her book published and she doesn't really get along with the publisher that she finds. And it's just kind of her struggle trying to get it published and then her struggle working with the publisher. And it's just a really cute movie. The next one is The Jane Austen Book Club. This is also a book, which I haven't read yet, but I have bought the book and I plan on reading it. I remember watching this the first time and not liking it, so I rewatched it and I absolutely love it now. This is about a group of people who decide to start a book club and they're going to read all of Jane Austen's novels and you get a little sneak peek into all of their lives, and it's just another really cute movie about books. Next is Liberal Arts. I don't think very many people know about this movie, but I watched it a few years ago and fell in love with it. This is about a man who goes back to his college to say goodbye to a teacher who is retiring, and he ends up falling for a student. He's a big reader, and they mention books in this throughout the entire movie. And they even argue about the Twilight series, which I thought was really funny. Again, just another really cute movie. The next one is my all-time favorite movie, and that's Midnight in Paris. I have seen this a thousand times, and I can quote it. There is nothing wrong about this movie. It is just the best movie, in my opinion. It's about a man who is trying to write a book, and him and his fiance go to Paris. And every night, he walks the streets of Paris to get some ideas for his book. And somehow he goes back in time and he gets to meet all of the authors that he loves. This is the movie that actually got me into reading Ernest Hemingway. I think the actor who played Ernest Hemingway was a fantastic choice. This is a really funny movie and it's really cute and it takes place in Paris, which I love. And I could just keep talking on and on about this because it is my favorite movie and I absolutely love it. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check this one out. The next one is Bright Star. This movie is about the poet John Keats. This is an absolutely tragic movie, but I really love it. Every time I watch it, I really want to get into poetry more. It's a really great movie, and if you are really into poetry, I highly recommend this one. The next one is The Help. This one was also a book, very popular book. I read the book first, and I really enjoyed it, so I was really excited to see the movie, and the movie didn't disappoint. It was a fantastic movie. This is about a girl who decides to write a book about the help in her town and their struggle in the 1960s. If you haven't seen this, I highly recommend watching this, and if you haven't read the book, you should also do that because it is a great book. The next one is The Princess Bride. This is also a book. The only part of this that is book-related is that the entire story is actually being read to this young boy, and I always like that you get to flashback to the grandpa reading it to his grandson, and he kind of narrates it and everything. I just think that this is a hilarious movie. I didn't care for the book as much. I like the movie better, but either way, I highly suggest watching this if you haven't. The last few I'm going to mention I actually don't own. The first one is Page Master. I watched this a lot when I was a child. I haven't seen it in quite a few years, but I believe it's about a young boy who gets locked in the library 
something happens that he turns into a cartoon and he goes on adventures with these books that come to life. And I think this is a great movie if you have kids and you want them to kind of learn more about books. The next one is Misery. This is a Stephen King book. I haven't actually seen the movie, but I think it's about an author who writes a story and he kills off a main character. And a fan of his writing doesn't like how he wrote it, so she kidnaps the author and tells him to rewrite the book and kind of tortures him to get the book finished and to write it the way she wants it written. It is a really creepy movie and book, and if you like kind of horror thriller, then I think you would really enjoy this. And the last one is 84 Charing Crossroad. I think I might have watched the movie before I read the book, but the book isn't very long. It's just letters between this woman and this man. And this woman, I think, lives maybe in New York, and the man lives in England and she is looking for better books than she can find in New York. So she writes this man who works at a bookstore in London and asks him to send her some books from their bookstore and they kind of create this friendship over these letters and it's just a really cute read and a really great movie with Anthony Hopkins. It was also a true story and I highly recommend reading it and watching the movie. Please let me know if you also enjoy watching movies about books or even reading books about books and let me know what they are. Also let me know if you have seen any of these movies and what you thought of them. I will leave a link to all of the movies that I mentioned down below as usual and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!